So, you want more spas booked and you just don't have it yet. You just you just haven't you just hadn't been able to make it happen yet. See, right now, um we're at the 4th of the month, the 4th day of the month, the 3rd business day of the month, and uh, we started out on Monday and the the message then was to contact 50 people. That's what we've been talking about if we've had conversations Talk, talk to 50 people about having a spa and then the more that we've talked I've said now follow up with them and some of you guys that have have had great results and um, I share in those accomplishments with you but you know really when when things are when we're accomplishing we don't need any help so that's why we're here again is because you're watching this if you don't have your spas book that you want to have yet and so you know, I was thinking about what I wanted to say in this 10 minutes or less, and, um, you know, I want to ask you, how did you spend your morning? When you got up this morning, how did you, how did you start your day off? You know, was it full of chaos and thinking about the things that don't, that don't bring you, um, closer to your goals? And how did you, how did you spend, maybe it was just 10 minutes, but how did you spend your morning increasing yourself so that it brought something into your day. I'll share with you just a little bit about how I spent my morning. Um, I woke up and, and I had a great conversation with my daughter. I had breakfast. I then I worked on myself a little bit, some uh, exercise. I did um, some, um, some, some quiet time, some reflection time. I just sat still for 15 minutes. I turned my phone on uh, airplane mode and sat very still, just did some meditation for 15 minutes at that timer and, and just sat there and thought about the things that um, whatever popped into my head. And then I listened to some fun music. I exercised some more. I uh, thought about the things that I wanted to get accomplished for today. And then I listened, um, while doing that, I listened to 45 minutes of Les Brown. And it's so amazing to me that um, motivation and education on how to become a better person is all around us and it's free, and yet we choose not to accept it. We are all living busy lives, and um, if we go back to the concept that to be happy, we need to uh, give and to learn, and we need to constantly be improving ourselves, and so we all want to be happy, right? And I'll tell you, I was listening to Tony Robbins yesterday, and he said there were only reasons that we can, um, we're not happy with any area of our life. You know, the short of it is... Um, think about the things where in your life, the areas that you're super happy with, and whether it be your intimate relationships, your job, your uh, your home, the relationship with your children. Think about why you are pleased or are happy with, with those relationships. And take just a minute to think about that. Why are you happy? Maybe you're super happy with your, your intimate relationship with your husband or your boyfriend. Um or your financial, your financial situation, maybe you're extremely happy with that situation. Now, on the other side of that, think about why the, the reasons why you could, you're not, whatever in your life that you're not happy with, whether that be your financial situation, your intimate relationship, your husband, the relationship you have with your children, um, and think about why you're not happy with those situations. And it's only two different things. It's either the blueprint you had for your life where you thought you should be right now and you're not or the action that you're taking to make it happen. And so, you know, the the blueprint, so you can either do two things. You can either take action to, to raise things and to change things to where you think they should be. And, and that's just the blueprint that you have for your life. Because someone may look at your financial, say you're not happy with your financial situation. Someone else might look at that financial situation and say, oh my gosh, you're, you're doing amazing. But because you're, you're not living to the, the standard at which you always had set for yourself, you're not happy with it. And so to achieve in this business, we've either got to accept where we're at or we have got to make action, take action to get things to where we expect that we should be operating from. We want to grow. We want to, we want to have we want to have that feeling of accomplishment. We've, we've done something that we set out to do and we want to make it happen because 
we want to either gain income, get more money, or we want to um, grow our confidence, or um, whatever your goals and dreams may be. And so, the way that you get up and start every day is is going to be a big change on how you spend the rest of your day. You you know the books that you read and the the five people you spend the t most time around is a direct reflection of your life. The people that you spend the most time around in your life take the five people, add up their income, divide it by five, and that is your income. And that is every time because we're getting exactly what we feel like we should be getting out of life. And if you spend time with people who expect more and are doing more, then you will too. And so, I say all that just to say, start expecting and believing that you can reach out to more people, ask more people. You're not out of people, you're just out of people that you are willing to ask because you're choosing to be comfortable with where you're at. And so, if you wanted to have eight spas, it's pretty simple, ask more people, follow up. And I've been saying this whole week, you need to talk to 50 to get five or six yeses. You need to ask 50 people and get a yes or a no. Now you can either ask 50 and get every one of them to give you a yes or a no, or you can ask um, 75 and, that, and then in that 75 you may say, well 50 of them answered, I got six yeses, 44 no's, you know. So however you wanna do that, I'm giving you odds so that you have a, a, a little something to look forward to rather than not giving you anything and just you go on out there and ask as many as you can. So you're either gonna ask, you know, you're gonna ask, um, make a list of, I pulled out some things, some old things in just to, just to give you a little refresher, but sit down and make a list of everyone you've ever worked with and call them and share what you're doing now. Revisit your Frank list. No matter how long you have been in the business, you always find new faces on your Frank list. Your friends, relatives, associates, neighbors, kids, connections. Um, what about your Christmas card list? Ask your friends and family to help you by borrowing their face to practice the new skincare and tell them to invite five or six ladies over. It might be a mini spa, but a spa on any given night is better than no spa at all. Um, have two spas at your house this month. Treat them exactly like you would a normal spa. Invite just like you would, just as serious and committed to it. And then draw for a hostess. Um, you know... Keep working on that frank list. Go through your Facebook list. Go through your Facebook friends. Think about who you know that they know. Um, do fundraisers. There's fundraiser gift certificates where kids can hand out, you know, they can sell spa, you know, the one hour spa and um, get a $5 donation, $10 donation. It's a way for people to help and then you can follow up with them and see if they're interested in having a spa. You're going to get as bad as much probably booked off of that as you would a, um, a fish bowl or something like that. You're just going to be fishing for people that want to have a spa. I love this and I, that's why I just updated, I just pulled it to the top in files on our flowers team page. And so you just plug in your information there and you keep these at least three on you per day and three people per day hand this to and say, hey, who is your beauty control consultant? Do you have a beauty control consultant? And they will say yes or they will say no. When they say yes, say, well, oh my gosh, be sure and talk to her about having a in-home spa. They're so fabulous. Have you ever had one? That's gonna, may ha it may happen once every great once in a while. Typically, she's gonna say no. And in that event, you say, well, you know, I am scheduling my in-home spas. I do eight per month, and I'm scheduling mine for this month, and I'd love to follow up with you if you think that your friends, five or six of your friends, might be interested in an hour of head-to-toe spa treatments. And so, this tells everything about the spa, um, and you're, you're, this, this gives you something to hand to them, and then you say, hey, do you care if I text you the, all the different spa themes, which you should have in your phone, if you don't, text me, and I... We'll send those to you, and um, you're just going to text text them. The, the, it says spa themes, and then everything that you do at each of the spa themes. But in that, you've got their name and their number, and you say, hey, do you care if I follow up and send you a text tomorrow and see what date worked for you and your friends and um, see what spa theme they thought would be a great idea. And so by talking to people, you can, you can grow your frank list. But 
I, I just I just want to revisit the fact that you've got people to to spend some time with and follow up with and once you get two or three spas booked that really will snowball and you'll start to book more and more spas the thing is, is just follow up with your 50 or follow up and get 50 yeses or 50 no's and just know whenever you get to the end of that getting yeses or no's then you'll have several spas booked and it'll give you some momentum and some ground and so Keep that frank list going. What else do you need? This gives you a new something to do. You know, get these printed.